Hi, I'm Benjamin, author of Master Math Models, and my goal is to make math easy for kids to understand. So in today's video, we will be working on the PSLE question uh, based on area of triangles and rectangles. Without much further ado, let's get started. As you can see in this question, so the main question that uh, was asked in the PSLE was actually this shape over here. Okay, so what you're looking at over here is an additional shape that I'm using to explain the concept behind solving this question, right? So this uh, question involves uh, certain concepts based on the area of triangles in relation to rectangles, okay? So I'm going to explain that to you now. But uh, before we go further, uh, let's read the keywords. So first and foremost, the keywords. It says, that the ABCD is a rectangle and DE is equals to EF is equals to FC. Now, what that means is that this portion is equal to this portion is equal to this portion. In other words, we have three equal parts, okay? So DE is the same as EF is the same as FC, right? We continue with the keywords and it says that the area of triangle AFD to triangle EOF, so A, F, D, to E, O, F, is eight is to one. The question is, what is the fraction of the shaded area to the total area of the rectangle? Now, before we talk about the question proper, let's talk about the concept. So to teach you the concept, I'm going to use some numbers in which I'm going to invent, okay? So assuming that this is a right angle uh, for a triangle, let's say that the height is 10. Now, if we were to look at it this way, and let's say I tell you that this portion here is six, and this portion here is 12, and this portion here is 18, then we know that these are all multiples of six. And we know that, for example, uh, W, X, compared to W, Y, W, Y is double of W, X, and W, Z is 18 compared to 6, so that's 3 times. Now, using the normal area of triangle uh, formula to find the area of each triangle, let's say I now find the area of triangle A, then the area of triangle A would be half times base times height. Okay, if I were to do that, what do I get? Okay, let's see. So if I were to do half times base times height, I should get 30. Now, let's try it on the next triangle over here with a base that is twice of six. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna take half times 12 times 10, which if you calculate, you will find is 16. Finally, we are going to try it on the biggest triangle, this shape, and the base is 18, which is twice or three times of six, okay? Again, the height is still 10. So if we calculate this, we will get half times 18 times 10, which will give us 90. Now, these three numbers that we found are the areas of the three triangles. And if you look carefully, you will notice that the area of the second triangle is twice of the first one and the area of the third triangle is three times of the first one. In other words, the ratio of their area is 30 to 60 to 90, or one is to two is to three, okay? And what we learn from this is that given a situation where the height is the same, then the ratio 
of their base is equal to the ratio of their area. So this is the main concept that we learn here. Okay, so we say that ratio of base is directly related to the ratio of area. And of course, we are assuming the condition that all of them have the same The condition is that they all have the same height. Okay, so now let's look at the question proper. So the question proper here is basically the same as what I've said to you, which is that if I were to add two lines, let's say I were to add one line here and another line here, you can see that I have just replicated the same shape over here. And from this, we know that the area of each triangle is related to its base. So if this is one unit, and this is two units, and this is three units, then the area of these three triangles here to here, oops, sorry, to here to here, their area has a ratio of one is to two is to three because their ratio of their base is one is to two is to three. Okay, we have just learned that. Now, the information given in the question is that the area of triangle AFD to EOF is 8 is to 1. Okay, once again, AFD is here. And EOF is here. So if the red triangle is 8 units and the blue triangle is 1 unit, we now know that, let me remove this for a little while so you don't get confused. We know that this area would be seven units and this would be one because the total is eight. Okay, so let's do that. Let's write that in. So here we got seven units. Here we got one unit. And here we also have seven units. Okay. Since the question is asking you to find the fraction of the shaded area to the total area, I will need to know the total area of this rectangle. And to find the total area of this rectangle, I will know the area of the rectangle if I can find out the area of this triangle in units. And all I got to do is times two because it's made out of two triangles. So what is the area of this triangle in units? Well, since the area of this triangle is eight units, and that is made up of, uh, perhaps I shouldn't use units below. Let me just clean that up for you. Uh, okay, let's say parts, okay? So as to prevent confusion. Okay, so I'm going to say one part, one part, one part, two parts, and three parts. Okay. So, since this triangle is eight units, and eight units is two parts, then half the rectangle, which is this big triangle, is three parts. So if two parts is eight units, how much is three parts? What is your answer? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna say that if two parts 
is equals to eight units, then one part is equals to four units and three parts would be equals to 12 units. What is three parts? The three parts that we just found is the area of this triangle. And we know that this is half of the rectangle. So to find the area of the rectangle, can you tell me what that is? Okay, if your answer is that the rectangle ABCD is 12 units times two, then you are perfectly right. So we have 24 units, okay? So I now know that the total area here is 24 units. The next thing I want to know is what is the shaded area in units? And that is very easy. All we got to do is count it, right? So what we, how are you going to count it? We're going to take seven plus one plus seven. So what is seven plus one plus seven? Okay, so the shaded region is seven plus one plus seven, and that gives us 15 units. So I now know that this is 15 units. And to find the answer to this question, what fraction of the shaded area to the total area of the rectangle, it means that this is your numerator and this is your denominator. So that's 15 out of 24. So we can answer the question now. So the shaded area over the rectangle, which is the total area, is 15 out of 24, which simplifies into 5, 8. And I believe this is actually option uh, 2 or option B of the question paper. So if you got 5, 8, you have the correct answer. If you found the explanation useful, I would appreciate if you would leave a positive comment in the comment section. And remember to subscribe to watch all the other videos I've created for the 2023 PSLE math paper, as well as look back on the 2022-2021 previous year uh, difficult questions which I've created so that your child can learn from them. Finally, if you would like to have a free clean copy of the worksheet for your child to try, please join my Telegram group found in the description below. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.